Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. All right, what am I looking at here? I just did a <laughs> product review that was a disaster. So uh, it was quite interesting. Of course, these videos are non-scripted, which makes things even more interesting. But anyway, uh, we'll come back to that later. And um, no, I'm not going to even tell you what it was. So uh, we get a lot of questions about uh, people wanting to know, hey, man, how come every time I log into my Windows 8 or 8.1 account, I have to enter my password? And I wake up from sleep, got to enter a password. It's this long, complicated thing, letters, numbers, capitals, symbols, all this stuff. Well, you don't necessarily have to do that. Now, when I originally talked about Windows 8, I said login is a local account. It keeps things separate and easy and uh, offline, and you don't have to worry about your stuff on the cloud. But the more I think of it, the more I'm transitioning into the benefits of a Microsoft account. A couple of things. Uh, if you ever lose your account or you ever move to a new computer, if you log into the new computer or the replacement computer or the new hard drive or new installation or whatever, uh, everything you downloaded and installed from the Microsoft Store, all your apps, even uh, Office, I believe, will reload itself and put you back exactly where you were. So that is a huge convenience. So I'm becoming a fan of the Microsoft account thing. With that said, if you do use the Microsoft account every time you turn your computer on, every time you wake it up from sleep, blah, 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 you got to key in this crazy password. The good point is that you'll remember it. The more you key it in, the less chance you'll have of forgetting it. But... People like me, I'm busy. I want to get in my computer, man. I ain't got time for this. Uh, you can't get past the password. There's no way to do it. you got to put it in there every time you log on your computer. So there is this method that you can substitute. Actually, there are several methods you can use. Uh, you can sign in either with the password, the traditional Microsoft account password. You can do a picture password which you can actually draw things. If you have a touch screen, you can draw something on a picture, connect the eyeballs, the mouth, or whatever, and uh, do that every time you do it. But I don't like touching my screen. If I touch my screen, I'm going to get fingerprints on it. That's going to make me upset because now i got to clean it. If I have a touch screen and I never use it, it's kind of silly, unless you have the tablet convertible thing. But I just... They're toys to me. I just don't get it. So I don't want to touch my screen. So the fingerprint, you can do that too. But what if you lose your finger? It could happen, but that's not it either. Uh, what if somebody else needs to log into my computer? We have a couple of different people who use mine, and of course we don't all have the same fingerprint, so that's no good for me in this particular situation either, but it might be good for you. It's real easy to swipe your finger. Dink, you're in. Um, or, uh, what is it here? Okay, and I have a password policy. Password is not required when waking this PC up from sleep, so you can set that and change that here. But the coolest thing you can do is add a PIN. You can add a four-digit number which is a lot easier, a lot quicker to type in any four-pin number, four pin number you choose. So you have to uh, authenticate your account by typing your password in here. You can't hear that, can you? And then it will prompt you to choose a pin. So I'm going to put the same pin I had in here before. Uh-oh. Hang on, I'm in trouble. Oh, I have to put my thing in here. Hang on, I'm trying to concentrate now. All right, so yeah, I put the right password in. That's my Microsoft account password, which I use, of course, to uh, access my computer. So uh, now I'm going to pick a four-digit code, and you have to key it in twice to make sure that it's the same code, something that you can only remember. It could be any combination of four digits. Uh, actually, I don't know if it can be letters, but I think the pin has to be numbers. So I've set that up now. When I log off of my computer and go back to log in, I do no longer have to key in my full password. All I do is put in that four-digit code, and I have a number pad on here, so I've always been really good with number pads. I used to work for Internal Revenue Service. That's all we did was numbers back a long time ago. So you just key in that number, and bang, you're inside your computer. So it's a lot quicker for you to log on to your Windows 8 or 8.1 computer or device. So those are your login options. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them in the, in the um, comments section below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.